Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 68. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 67 to 71. Hey, this YouTuber asked about that little thing right there. That little thing is called the fill handle, and when you move your selection cursor, that's the selection cursor, when you move your selection cursor right close to the fill handle, that's that little black box in the corner, oh, it turns to that. That's one of the magic, most magic things in Excel. That cursor right there, Bill Gates calls it the crosshair, because it looks like a little crosshair on a gun. I like to call it the angry rabbit. Now, there's uh, three different things that, um, or there's lots of things that can happen in this video. We're just going to see what double clicking does. Now we need to put a formula here, and then I want to double click and watch what happens. There's three different situations for what will happen if you double click a fill handle with your angry rabbit. Let's put a formula here equals sum open parentheses one cell to my left, and then I'm going to double click. Oops, one cell to my left, and then with my cursor after B4, I'm going to shift uh, colon to get that colon and then type B4, close parentheses. And now I want to uh, come and get this cursor right here, B4, so I'm going to double click it and I'm going to hit the F4 key and I'm going to hit it twice because I want it locked in front of the row reference. Now this formula, what it will do is this range will expand as we copy down. I'm going to control enter. Now, if we double click this, um, there's three different situations. If there's stuff below it, that, that uh, overrides whether there's something to the left or to the right. So when you double click and something's below it, the code in Excel says, I'm just going to replace all the stuff below. Notice there's a bunch of stuff to the left and the right. So the hierarchy of how this double click works, and by the way, you can uh, verify by clicking there and seeing that that formula actually did copy down. I'm going to click Escape. So the hierarchy is if there's something below it, it'll replace that and stop. That's it. See, below is first. Now I'm going to delete this below here. I cleared all there. And now watch what happens. There's um, no longer three things. There's nothing below. There's just stuff to the left and stuff to the right. Now when you double click it, what happens? It's the stuff on the left that determine how far it gets copied down. So in this case, it goes, 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 and when it runs into a blank cell, it stops one above. Notice there was stuff to the left and to the right. It just ignored the stuff to the right because there was stuff to the left. That's left is second when you double click. Now I'm going to delete all that stuff below here. I'm doing the keyboard shortcut Alt EAA, which clears all. And now I'm going to click here and Control Shift Down Arrow and Alt EAA. And now watch this, even though the formula doesn't make any sense there. Actually, here's a great trick. Let's see if we can point to the edge here with our move cursor and move it over there. See how I'm moving it? I'm going to move it right there. <laughs> Control Enter. Now, let's double click. There's nothing below, there, which is always first. There's nothing to the left, which is always second. So all there is left is stuff to the right. So when you double click it, it is governed by what sits on the right. So that's how that double click which is an awesome feature when you're building amortization tables with 360 rows and you want to copy a formula down, that double trick is awesome. All right, we'll see you next trick.